as the line of scrimmage now splits to the left. They snap at the Temple running right behind the back. Gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Missouri. Celebrating touchdowns has been a part of football for as long as the game's been in existence, but in recent times, those celebrations have almost become full choreographed productions. Missouri's football team, on the other hand, has taken a more conservative approach after scoring touchdowns. The Tigers are celebrating by using what's become more familiar on the ice or the diamond, and that's the handshake. This is something that actually everybody's into, so it's pretty cool, actually. Something that we like to do, something that hopefully, uh, and obviously it's drawn some attention and knowing some people and recognize it. In the past, the Tigers have celebrated touchdowns like most teams by jumping up and down and hugging each other. But the idle days of June and July left plenty of time to allow the players' creative juices to flow. We came up with it um, this summer, and you know, hey, we want to act like we've been there before. We want to take it more business-like. You got a lot of time out there in the football field. You come up with a lot of things that just some of them stick and some of them don't. Finding out when the idea started was fairly easy to find out, but hunting down who exactly was the mastermind behind the handshake was as difficult as stopping the Tigers' spread offense. Although many believe it was tied in Martin Rucker's idea. Nope, it wasn't me. Um, actually, I think it was Thomas Saunders. But uh, you're not the first person to ask me. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just know that Will Franklin was told me that that's what we're going to do. So we decided as a receiving court that's what we're going to do. A couple of the receivers, uh, Tommy Saunders, maybe a few, a few of those other guys, just started doing it in practice and during the summer and stuff, and it's just kind of caught on. Now there is one Tiger who has taken claim to the shake, although his Tiger teammates might have something to say about that. I'm going to take credit for it because I'm the one that told everybody I think we should do it because everybody was celebrating and usually I'm blocking and chop blocking so I can't run down there and jump up and celebrate. So I'm like, hey, let's take this more business-like and start shaking hands. Temple said it was his idea. <laughs> uh, that's Temple. <laughs> the Tigers have already scored 22 touchdowns this season, accounting for a lot of handshakes, and it looks like that number could triple before the season comes to an end. Uh, it's good for our teammates, you know, that's how we need to approach the game. We want to finish four quarters to be in business like that. We're used to being in the end zone. Yeah, hopefully we can continue to get in the end zone. In Columbia, for OldMissouri.com, I'm Darren Warnig. For extended highlights and post-game reaction, log in or join OldMissouri.com, your source for Missouri football news and information.